This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by Cabela's, America's foremost outfit. This week in Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing at the Channel Islands. Now, when you're fishing these rockfish and fishing for halibut, any of that kind of bigger fish, deeper water, you got to really step up your gear. Don't want to go too light. 20 pound in this situation would be way too light. 30 and 40 pound tests I wouldn't be afraid to use. And because of that, you can pick out one of the Dan Hernandez rods made by Shakespeare. Just want to make sure that the model you pick is designed to fish 40 pound test line and you'll be safe. If you start seeing those bigger lingcod or the really monster halibut that live out there, I wouldn't be afraid of using a 50 pound outfit, but for today's fishing, we're not going that heavy. Now as far as rigs, a great rig to use when you're fishing for a deep water halibut or even lingcod is to go ahead and use a reverse dropper loop. And let me show you really quick how it's tied. Now normally in a dropper loop, we would put the sinker on the bottom and then we'd have our hook up above. With a reverse dropper loop, what we do is exactly the opposite. So first we're going to slide on the sinker, just do everything like we would with a dropper loop, take the lines, go around three to five times is good, and then you take your sinker, you go right through that loop, and then you just wind it down. Now, as I pull it together, I want to wet it, just so that that line has some friction in there. There you go, just like that. Now on the other end of it, where my sinker would normally go, I'm going to put on a live bait hook. Now this hook I'm using right now is a circle hook. Depending on how you like to fish, you may not want to use a circle hook. You might want to go with a J-style hook. But when I'm fishing the deeper water, I really like to go with the circle hook because that way the fish will hook themselves. So just tie on a Palomar knot right now. Slide the hook through the loop and then cinch it down. Again, I'll wet it, and then just cinch it right down. And that's all there is to it. So if, it if the sinker was on the bottom, it would be a dropper loop. But this way, with the sinker in the middle, it's a reverse dropper loop. And the idea behind it is that the sinker is going to lay on the bottom, and your bait will be able to come up above it a little bit. And with the halibut, you want that bait to move around. So that's what it's designed for. If I had the hook up here, my sinker would be down here, my bait would be dangling too high off the bottom, and for halibut it wouldn't work. Remember, halibut, ling cod, they can be right down deep. The halibut would be right on the edge of the rocks, right on the bottom in the sand. The ling cod are going to be right on the bottom in the rocks. And that's why this outfit works so good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.